What's up guys and gals, it's you and me and 3 Toe makes 3 I guess as we sneak into OTK International, which is kind of an interesting, that's an interesting moniker in Hearthstone that's a one turn kill. I don't like that, that makes me feel really really nervous about this whole thing, but anyways, we've got to get in here, we've got to destroy some computer software, which will then get us into the As Technology building or something of that nature where we'll blow everything up, but first we got to find the back door to this place and let everybody in, just like we did in the previous game, so at Shadowrun Returns there was a level just like this, where you had to go in all by yourself and then sneak other people in, so let's take it real slow. A bunch of doors here in front of us, it's like life, it's like a metaphor for life right now, how poetic. Anyways, let's see, as you pass by the open door, you see a middle-aged wage slave working at a console. His back is facing facing the doorway, and he doesn't seem to have noticed you. Let's approach him. You step into the room and make your way towards the wage slave. As you approach him, he sits, he sits bolt upright and begins to turn towards you. We'll wait for him to turn around. The wage slave turns and blinks at you. Who, uh, who are you? How the hell did you get in here? The look of confusion on his face disappears, replaced by suspicion. His hand edges towards a large red button mounted to his desk. Charisma 4, sorry to have startled you. My name's Jonathan, I'm the new contractor. Just wanted to stop by and say hello. He's like, oh, well, uh, hello then. I'm Klaus. He glances at his PDA. Good God, I could have clocked out an hour ago. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, Jonathan, and good night. And so, we're gonna let him go. He probably has something that we want. But we've talked our way through the situation, and since our charisma is so high, I never have a problem, like, avoiding these spots. Like, this is really something that I feel like we should probably do, is go through and just, like, talk to people and make sure... We've gotta, we've gotta put our best foot forward. I mean, if we're super charismatic, why not just be super charismatic? You gotta go with what you're good at in life. Let's see here, what's this thing got for me? The desk before you is well kept. The papers are stacked neatly and drawers are closed, but the terminal is turned off. Well, and the terminal is turned off. I mean, I guess, I suppose I could use a different conjunction right there. If we're at conjunction junction, I could pick the right one. But anyways, A-N-D isn't B-U-T. Let's search the drawers. The contents of the drawers make it clear that this desk belongs to a supervisor of some sort, a Mr. Stephen Williams, according to the nameplate. You find plenty of employee performance evaluation schedules of upcoming meetings and deadlines and other decidedly uninteresting files and papers. One of the drawers, however, is locked. Let's investigate the locked drawer. The drawer appears to be secured by some sort of electronic lock. The desk itself, however, looks relatively flimsy. You might be able to force the drawer open. You can go intelligence or strength, but we have neither. We can also go turn on the terminal. The terminal boots up quickly. Please log in. Attempt to log in. The username is probably... What did they say it was? S. Williams? What was the guy's name? I forgot. No, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore at all. I forgot what his name was. Let's search the drawers one more time. Mr. Steven. Okay, I have a bad memory. Leave me alone. It's fine. It'll work out. I promise. So we will go... Oh, I don't know. Let's look around the room for a little bit to see if there's anything to indicate the password. We have a potential login, but we don't have a password or anything. There's a lot of stuff to investigate here. The filing cabinets have all been labeled in neat block printing by hand. They're all locked. A well-used calendar is hung on the wall, covered in notes and appointments. June the 29th has been circled about a half dozen times. The board is arranged in a grid of names and tasks, most of which seem to be in completed categories. In the corner is a note, Lucy B. Day Tuesday, do not forget. The bookshelf is neatly organized and alphabetized. On the upper shelf is a framed picture of a young blonde girl with braces and a huge smile stretching across her face. Well, nothing in here that really indicates what his password might be. We can try. We can go... Stevenson, and... Oh, it's a numeric password. Well... Did I get the wrong name again? God, I really need to, like, pay attention and remember things. It's probably gonna be 0629 would be my guess. Mr. Steven Williams. Okay, so that's what I messed up. I went with Stevenson. Let's go with turn on the terminal, and we need Williams, and then 0629, ah, unlock the drawer. With a sharp clicking sound, the mag lock releases and the drawer pops open. Amongst the various other items in the locked drawer, you find a supervisor's ID badge. I guarantee you that's probably going to be useful in the future at some point. So now that we are all badged up and able to get into some of the more mysterious clandestine areas of the building, maybe our job will go a little bit easier. With regards to all these doors down here, I don't know which ones to pick, but we can try. I mean, let's go with all the doors. Oh, security drones. Hell no. Okay, so I don't know if I'm okay with this. 
doesn't look like there's anything I could fiddle around with right there anyways, but if anything can ID us, it'll be security drones, so I would prefer to stay away from that kind of outcome. Facial scans, retina scans, or anything else that they might use to make sure that we're not the right person. We do have an ID badge, which is nice, but we don't want to flash it to the wrong person either. Their stream has a decking port, but I can't use it. Looks like we're in a storage locker of some sort. There might be something useful here. I mean, we could let the rest of the team in. Oh, yeah, he's got Max with him now. That's pretty sweet. Lead the way. All right, fantastic. So we've got our entire team in the building now. We could have done that a little bit easier, but you know what? That's Splattercat making the roundabout way every time I do anything. Standing in the hallway as a janitor, a tired-looking woman in her mid-30s. She's staring at you, her eyes wide with surprise. You can't help but notice the alarm panel set into the wall just behind her. With a flick of her wrist, she could make your job infinitely more complicated. Oh, excuse me. You startled me there. A look of confusion crosses the janitor's face as her eyes flip from you to your teammates to the door that you just let them in through. You are suddenly aware of how very out of place you look in this building, and the furrow in the janitor's brow tells you that she's made the same observation. Who are you exactly, and how did you get into this building? I think we should probably draw down on her and kill her, but we should probably use corporate etiquette just to see if it works. I don't want to murder anybody out of hand here. I'm new. They uh, just brought me on as a QA tester for the Ares project. Oh, well, uh, welcome aboard. From what I've heard about QA testing, I don't envy you. Those guys back in the server room will appreciate your presence, I'm sure, though. Yeah, no joke. She gestures towards the open door. Well, step right on in and head to Mandy in reception. She'll get you logged into the system so that you can clock in and out. The janitor smiles at you warmly. I think. Thanks. What was your name, by the way? I'd love to tell management how helpful you've been. Oh, I'm Jesse. Jesse Sanders. She waves at you. It's been a pleasure meeting you. I'm sure I'll catch you around. Whew. Dodge that bullet. So let's go this way. There's an executive door over there, and we're trying to get through these drones. Since we've got decking skills now, we may want to try and jack into this port over here. I don't see... There was no receptionist here a moment ago when I came in. Let's have somebody deck in and see if we can't get rid of this giant lockdown that we've got going over the entire company. No, not Iger. Blitz. There we are. And so he's going to have a couple extra abilities. He's got the Execute Attacker, and he's got the Exploder. The Exploder I need to be careful with. I blew my own self up. I blew my leg off with it last time, and I'd prefer not to do that again. I've only got one left. I mean, I blew off a leg last time, blew off a leg this time. Pretty soon I'm going to be hobbling around and be collecting, like, <laughs> disability checks. It's going to be weird. We're jacked in. And with one AP remaining, we found ourselves, unfortunately... Let's go ahead and get into cover. We don't have a choice. 25 right there, a miss, and then he's gonna charge up a big hit for like 125 in just a moment. I'm gonna take this turn to go ahead and execute the attacker. I'm also gonna run and execute on the exploder, just to say that I did, so that I've got a lot more turns to work with. We're gonna move him into cover right there. And then he's gonna start putting fire, what kind of programs does he have? He has a tar bomb. Area of effect matrix attack that deals 50 damage to ice and deckers and roots them in place. Okay. I don't want to do a tar bomb yet. Let's see how far we can get the exploder in here. We'll detonate him in just a minute. On this side, the astute observation would be that he's out of cover, so we could probably land a couple hits on him. Probably could have done it with a different program, though. Wouldn't have hurt to use a degrade on him, but we'll walk away from that for right now. We'll keep our pockets stacked with lots of useful things. With the Exploder, we're going to go ahead and set him to a detonate. And kaboom, there he goes. That didn't melt off him, though. In fact, that didn't melt anybody. A little bit of a disappointment for me right there, but it's all right. We'll probably live through it. I think our better chance right now... I don't think he's inside the AoE right there, so that's a bad play. Let's go over to Erosion. Let's see if we can't erode him, maybe? Go for the best chance to hit. And then with our remaining fire, I'm just going to try and kill him off. So there's 75 right there. Hopefully the attack can get the job done. There's no guarantees. It's a pretty low hit chance. And so a double miss right there. We are going to take a big hit right now for about 125. The Degrade also didn't kill him off. And so we may just have to live with the fact that we just lost one of our dear, dear friends that hangs out with us. I'm going to go for a kill right there. 
no such luck. So, a kill out of the way, a kill out of the way. So now I've noticed that the alarm level is getting a little bit high, so we are going to have to take a turn right there to suppress the alarm level. I'm going to move him over to a more advantageous firing position because we are pretty far out. But this little guy right here, not far out as in like the hippie way of saying it, but far out as in we're just way too far with regards to metrics. So let's jump on over here and get that ex executive door down. The door has now been disabled, which I don't really know how that helps us. We were trying to destroy something, so I'm assuming that whatever it is is going to be behind the executive door. However, we do already have the key code, or the supervisor's key code, so it should be perfectly fine anyways. Let's jack out before we trigger an alarm. Executive door is now open. Which means we don't have to go by the drones, which is a really nice benefit to having a Decker around, so avoiding drones is always a plus. I don't doubt. Halt! This is a restricted area. The guard raises his weapon. His voice is brimming with excitement. Show me your ID, now! We left our IDs in the other room. If you let us, we'll grab them for you. The guard looks positively delighted. Finally, some action! Intruders at my position! He pulls back the slide in his rifle and opens fire. I'm a little disappointed that this game never allows you to get through any mission without combat. I will say that that is a big disappointment about this game, is that... Really, no matter how, if we went that way, there would be drones. If we go this way, there's security guards. And so it came down to RNG. Did you pick security? It's not the fact that we decked through and we did anything. I have a supervisor's badge right now. Didn't give us an option to use it. So anyways, big, big disappointment. And I feel like I'm bitching about this game a lot, but, you know, shadow runs don't always end up in combat. It's one of those tiny things that it just doesn't happen. And I clicked on him, as you can see by my cursor position. But whatever, that's cool. Let's go ahead and vacate the room then. I didn't want to attack the enemy anyways. So I suppose we'll leave that prerogative far, far behind us instead of thinking about it for too long. I'm gonna have her do an aim shot. Pull back behind the desk because we don't know where any of the reinforcements are gonna come from. I really am disappointed that we never get to complete anything without combat. Like, I would I would love to. Let's turn on his drone, so Max has now been enabled. And what weapon is he rocking? I don't know what Max has. He's got his drone repair kit. Okay. It appears as though he's got some kind of auto cannon. It's like a little pistol. Okay, that works out. Whatever. We can do a target the head, or we can go for that. I'm going to go for that. So there we are. We've landed a bunch of hits on our first turn. And as always, the game has resolved itself through combat. Shotgun blasts are going to be away. I can only assume that the combat droids are going to come through the door right there any second. Put some acid on that guy. He's going to die off in the next turn. Take some drone fire, I guess. It looks like he's dropped something. Since he's only got one AP left, he actually becomes a little bit less valuable to us. Fire off a Hail Mary. I didn't think that one was actually going to land, but it was worth a try. Move Glory into the room. I don't know what he's dropped right there, but it looks like it may be useful. Some kind of PDA or maybe some electronics that might be a little bit of help later on. Since he had line of sight from there, I can only assume that she's going to have line of sight from here. Yeah, and there it is, and it looks like she's actually got herself... Dead eye shot increases your accuracy. Wow. So there's 18 damage. It looks like she has a new sniper rifle, which is pretty badass, too. Start moving the drone forward, but also out of line of sight so that it can't take any fire on this turn. Shotgun's away. He's managed to miss and not deal any damage. He's now going to close with me. Oh, I thought they were going to leave the door unlocked. I was going to be like, thank you, janitor. You just made my life easy. You just cleaned up a couple problems for me. And not the one that I've left in my britches now that we're under attack. That's going to have to be dealt with later. Shh, don't tell Iger. Iger doesn't, see, it doesn't seem like she would be sympathetic. Let's go ahead and get a claw in. I should probably do Adrenal Pump as well. Now that Adrenal Pump has been engaged, we're going to go for a Burst Fire at point blank, and it's managed to take him out. Let me get in here and grab whatever this is. The Server Room Door Key. All right. There's another decking point right here. For which I'm not so sure it's going to be... I don't know what decking in right now would do for us. Maybe we can 
grab ourselves or nick ourselves a few more data stores. Oh, there's more security. Okay. A bunch more security, in fact. Heading for the drone control console. I'll get those drones online, sir. And so for Iger, I think our opportunity now... Let's get her as far back in the room as we can. Somehow she's still only 53%. I don't know. But the rigger's got to go. I don't know where the drone control panel is. It's around here somewhere. Let's diddle with everybody else first before we decide where we want to send anybody. I'm going to put her up in the forefront. Rather than the five front, or the three front. Definitely not the three front. I mean, the three front is absolutely 100% where you don't want to be. She's got a flashbang grenade. That might be the best play right here to make sure he doesn't get to the drone console. And so there it is. They've all been set off balance, so we're going to skip a turn now. Which is great, because it allows me to get into position. If we were going for the silent approach, probably a terrible decision. But we're not going for silence right now. We're going for violence. So whatever. It'll be fine. We'll move the drone up there in the center. Let him do his dealio. Ow! It's a lot of blood on the floor, and I don't like the fact that it's mine. Kind of terrifying. I'm going to go through, and we're going to put down a... Oh, good. The UI is being weird. Hold on. Let me see here. Put down some air barriers right there, and that's going to be medium cover, which I'm already in. And then we move into the ley line for now, surrounding, surrounding ourselves with lightning as though we were Thor. And I think her aim shot should be up. So let's go for a kill here, if we can seal the deal. Damn it, they killed our rigger. Yep, we definitely did, because that's what we do. Kill stuff. Welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. And so now... He doesn't really have a whole lot to say about this whole thing. I think I should probably go for a burst fire over here. I mean, we may land a shot. It's the only thing that he's really got lined up anyways. She's got dead eye shot. We could go for it. It's not going to work out for us, though. So let's go ahead and move her into normal cover so that next turn she can use her shotgun to take care of the enemy. He's still going to have to skip a turn. So I think taking the drone over here and point blanking this guy in the side of the head. That guy's got really good dodge rating. I mean, he's getting out of the way. Even with no cover, he's still got 53% chance to get hit. I mean, oh, we have two down here. I didn't see that one. All right. It's an issue. I am going to haste somebody. Let's go with Blitz. He's already operating with less AP than normal anyways. So she's wounded three. God. Well, if we could hit anything, this would be an absolutely fantastic run. There we go. Ask and ye shall receive. Maybe. Maybe. It depends what you're asking for. Double hit right there, just to prove me wrong and make me feel like an asshole for bringing up the fact that I never make my shots. I don't want to get too close in to risk a grenade. So maybe I'll spread out a little bit. Well, unless you do that. Numb nuts. God. Is there any way to, like, plan out your movement, or is it just, like, you click and you go? It looks like you... I did that on purpose, by the way. I was wasting a turn on purpose just to see if, like, you could set up waypoints for yourself to move through. It does not appear as though you can. Stop that. Alright, so this turn we're obviously going to have to go with some medical help. We've got three wounds right there, five wounds right there. Nothing that I'm too motivated to heal with, so we'll just use an AP right there. Throw out some acid, and then we'll just hope that it kind of gets us by. So 12 damage done right there. Next turn, he'll take a little bit more damage. I'm going to go for automatic fire is not up right now. Neither is adrenal pump. She doesn't have any grenades left. Iger, what about you? What have you got for me? I know you've got something, Iger. I know you've got something here. We're going to go for another flashbang. Which I don't think is going to get everybody. 
Oh, it did get everybody. Cool. I wish they would change the way that the AOE looked because it's like slightly translucent. But at the same time, it doesn't represent 3D space very well, and I always feel confused about what I'm gonna hit. It might just me be it might just be me having bad eyesight though. And with our one bullet remaining, it's probably a good idea to get this guy right here. You know, whatever. Or miss. That's cool. Luckily I can count on Blitz today, so he ate his Wheaties or something, but he's managing to make his shots unlike everybody else. And that leaves our drone. Looks like we take a nerf to our attack penalty right there. He can taser somebody? That's pretty cool. Let's try taser. Well. That was a little uneventful. So our taser has failed us. Lame. What's the point in having a robot with a taser if you can't use it on people? This would be a heal worthy turn for 16. I don't really want to do that. Not a whole lot of things that I want to do with this character right now. So I guess we'll just spread the acidic love around. There we go. Nothing like a good crit in the morning. Get yourself nice and settled. Go for an aim shot there. 24 damage crit, which is good. Let's see if we can't lock down a kill right now. Okay, so we've kind of lowered the playing field a tad, made sure that we have the advantage in numbers. With Iger, we're going to want her to go back to the shoddy. And I realized I could have made the shot over there. There was no reason that I did it. I just sort of arbitrarily picked a target. 28 damage from right there, and if his aim shot is back up, we may have a kill. Eh. That's why I said may, instead of will have a kill. I wanted to rhyme very, very badly. I mean, I was trying to rhyme. Fortunately, the universe wasn't having it. It was like, nope, Splattercat, no rhymes today. We're not going to be having any merriment. There's not going to be any jestery here. Jestery business. And, of course, he's been taken out by acid. Me. Why not? It could happen. Stranger things have happened during the course of our playthroughs. And let's go for the claw. And unfortunately, didn't get lucky there. Unload the remainder of the clip in the hopes that we might hit somebody. Iger's going to do something similar and also hit our own teammate. I didn't think we were that far away. Usually the shotgun, I feel like you have to be a little bit further away, so I misjudged the distance, I guess. It'd be nice if they gave you some kind of targeting cone, just so you knew. Instead of it just being kind of one of those big mysteries of the game. Yes? Alright. Got ourselves a kill. And even more enemies? God, it appears as though we've pulled down like an entire building on ourselves. Let's go ahead and scramble for new cover here. Part of me is being a little bit weird about the fact that maybe I'm supposed to be decking into this right now. But we didn't have enough AP without a buff in order to do the decking in, so I don't know. Iger's back on sniper duty. How is that such a terrible chance to hit from that far away? That's weird. It's very weird. Let's see if I can't flatten the drones in one turn. I need her to be back on adrenal stims. If there's another wave after these guys, I will deck into here and kind of see what's going on. I left him out of cover for the sole purpose that I really, really, really wanted to get rid of that last drone. I'd rather take one bullet now than move into cover and potentially take two or three. Especially when he doesn't appear as though he's actually going to take any type of initiative anyways. So with 10 damage dealt, I'm going to heal myself. Haste should be back up. Yeah, it's been back up for a while. Probably two or three turns from my reckoning. 
Let's get in there with the claws, and we'll go for another burst fire right up close, unless she's out of ammo. I didn't think to look before I did this, but anyways, it worked out. We're okay. So have we cleared out everybody in the building yet? No. Well, let's take a reload turn then. Alright, I'm thinking we may have to jack in in order to make this go away. So anyways, I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for this OTK run against the enemy. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Stay safe in the shadows out there, chummers. And as always, hi, do. I feel like my exits are getting more and more windy.